Welcome to Agron Infotech. In this video you will learn how to enhance visualization of clustering dendrogram using RStudio. The video will include Importing data file and formatting variables Computation of distance matrix Hierarchical clustering Using colors in dendrogram Draw and fill rectangles around the clusters Using themes of GBLA2 Changing type of dendrogram Using different layouts for phylogenic dendrogram. Let's start this analysis using RStudio. Data file used here is obtained from our demo data set US arrests. Save this data file as CSV, separated file format. To import the CSV, separated file in our use read.csv function. Select the CSV file. You can use head or tail function to return the first or last six rows of the data set. The data looks fine. You can also use structure function to display the internal structure of data set. Here the first variable is being considered as factor instead of characters. You can change it to character. Use as dot character function by attaching the first variable x of data set using dollar sign operator. Now using again the structure function, you will see the first variable has been changed to character. Use the head function again to see the data set. The first variable x should represent the row names for this data set. Set the variable x as row names for this data set. Use row names for data file and assign it a value by attaching the x variable from data file using concatenate function. Again using the head function, you can see it has created row names using elements from the first variable x. Now delete the first variable x by using square brackets. Minus 1 shows that first column will be deleted from data set. Now again using the head function you can see the data is fine to proceed further for analysis. Assign a short name to this new data set. Use na.omit function to remove any missing values in data set. Use the scale function to standardize the data set. Use head function to display the scaled data. Compute the distance matrix using DIST function. This function requires stats library. The X argument in DIST function requires data matrix. Use object scaled data matrix as created earlier. For method argument you can use one of the allowed methods. Here I shall use Euclidean distance measuring method. To view the results use as dot matrix function for object that specify distances. To view the results of first six rows and first six columns specify this value in square brackets. To round the values to a specific decimal place use round function for the previous object. Use three value for digits to get the values up to three decimal place. Now I shall proceed for hierarchical cluster analysis on a set of dissimilarities or distances measured earlier. First load library stats using require function. For hierarchical clustering use hclust function. This function requires argument d which specify the similarity structure produced earlier by dist function. Second argument required by this function is agglomeration method to be used for clustering. You can use one of the allowed methods. I shall use complete method for clustering. You can use plot function to view the simple dendrogram of hierarchical clustering object created earlier. For enhanced visualization of dendrogram use fviz dendrogram function. The x argument specify the clustering object created earlier. You can change the size of the labels using cex argument. lwd argument requires a numeric value to specify the line width of branches of clustering tree or rectangle line width. You can also assign different colors to clusters and rectangles in dendrogram. First, Load the library GR devices using require function. You can print built in color names using colors function. You can use a set of six rainbow colors using palette function. First, load the library scales using require function. Then, use the palette function to get names of six default colors. Using show color function, you can view these colors. You can also use color palettes inspired by the Journal of Clinical Oncology. This will require library GG science. Use show color function to view the 10 default colors. 
You can also change the transparency level of these colors using alpha argument. Using the previous fvis dendrogram function you can use colors for dendrogram branches or clusters. Here I provided some additional arguments. K argument represent the number of clusters to cut the tree. The for value for k means is used from a previous tutorial on k means clustering. The link is also provided in the description. Another argument is k colors. You can specify the names of colors to be used for k clusters. Or, you can use jco for k color argument. This will use default set of colors to be used from color palettes specified by the Journal of Clinical Oncology. To draw rectangles around the clusters or groups you need to specify some additional arguments. For rectangle argument, use logical value true or false to specify whether to draw rectangles around the clusters. For rectangle border argument use the name of the color for rectangle borders. Rectangle fill arguments requires logical value. If false it will not fill the rectangles. True value for this argument will fill the rectangles. You can use different colors for rectangle fills by using JCO in rectangle border argument. You can also use same JCO colors for both rectangle fill and clusters by providing same value for both K colors and rectangle borders. You can also use color codes to specify colors of your choice. If you want to align dendrogram horizontally then use true value for horizontal argument. You can also use different themes of ggplot2 by using ggtheme argument. For using different types of dendrogram use type argument. The allowed types of dendrogram are rectangle, circular, and phylogenic. To avoid labels over plotting use repel argument. This argument is used when type of dendrogram is phylogenic. True for repel argument will avoid over plotting of labels. You can also use different layouts for phylogenic dendrogram. This will require library I graph. Use phylo layout argument to draw different phylogenic dendrograms. I hope this video will help you to visualize clusters in RStudio. Please comment below if you have any questions.